Hi, I'm Rob Dunphy here, and today I'm going to teach you how to skateboard. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to look at your equipment. Hopefully you've just picked up a skateboard. If not, you might be borrowing one from a friend. Either is fine. You always want to look first at the bulk. Now, this bolt in the center of your truck dictates how much your wheels can turn on the skateboard. If that bolt is too loose, then you're going to be doing wobbly turns and might not have a lot of control over your skateboard. If that bolt is too tight, you're going to have very little control over your skateboard as well because you won't be able to turn it. So you want to find a good balance between too loose and too tight when you learn how to skateboard. If you have ever surfed before, if you've ever snowboarded before, you'll notice that either your left foot is forward or your right foot is forward. Right meaning goofy, left meaning regular. After you've determined which stance you are, you want to place your front foot over three out of the top four bolts, leaving this fourth bolt open. Place your board down onto the ground Place your front foot over three out of those top four bolts. Now your body placement is absolutely crucial to learning how to skateboard. You want to lean, keeping your front shoulder directly over your front foot. With about 95% of your weight directly over your front foot. And you're going to place your back foot on the ground just in front of those back two wheels. Keeping your weight centered over your front foot. Then what you're going to do is you're going to kick off of the ground and place your back foot onto the back four bolts and ride forward. The entire time you're doing this you're keeping your weight committed onto your skateboard over your front three bolts. One of the biggest mistakes for beginners is not keeping your weight forward and committed onto the board. A sign of that happening is you're going to be pushing like this. And you're going to be pushing more than necessary, using up more effort than you need to. You're going to get tired easily and you're going to wear yourself out. So it's absolutely crucial that you lean over your front foot the entire time you learn how to push. When you start to slow down, that's when you want to take one big push off of the ground and place that back foot back onto those back four bolts. After you've mastered how to push on a skateboard, you'll then want to learn how to turn. Before you learn how to turn, you should put your place your board down and practice how to do front lift ups, which are a pretty simple technique. With your skateboard, place it in front of you, place your back foot 100% on the tail, the portion which comes up. Your toes should not collapse over the side of the board, but should be slightly removed backward, being right here. With your back foot, you want to press directly straight down and simultaneously lift up as well with the front foot, keeping your knees slightly bent and your arms out. Once you can do 15 to 20 of those front lift ups, you'll then want to do at the same time instead of going straight up and directly straight down, is to add in a little bit of forward movement into the front foot. You'll want to keep your back foot doing the exact same motion, going straight down and straight up and slightly forward with your front foot. When learning how to turn on a skateboard, you'll always want to keep your eyes looking directly where your front two wheels will be landing. So if you're turning this way, you'll be looking this way. If you're turning backwards over your shoulder, you'll want to be looking over your shoulder. After you've learned how to push and how to turn on a skateboard, you've really learned a lot of the basic beginner techniques. You also want to think of your skateboard at all times kind of like a boat. If you put too much weight on the back end of your board, it's going to lift the, the front of the board up. Too much on the front, do the opposite. Too much on the side, too much on the other side. 
and that's going to cause you to fall. So you always want to keep your weight centered, balanced, and your arms out as if you're riding a boat, a surfboard, a snowboard, or any other type of thing. After you've learned how to be good at turning, good at keeping your balance, you'll then be able to go down inclines, hills, and ride your board down the sidewalk. Check out my video on how to ollie, because after this, you'll be ready to learn some tricks. My name is Rob, I'm from GoSkate.com, and have a nice day.